with the phase-out of air conditioning systems containing HCFC such as R22. The industry is shifting to alternative HFC refrigerants which contain no chlorine. The most common of these new alternative refrigerants for residential air conditioning is R410A. R410A is a mixture of refrigerants R32 and R125 and is considered a near azeotrope. This means that it is not as susceptible to fractionation or separation into individual components if a leak would occur in the system. The air conditioning cycle with R410A is the same as it is with an R22 system, but there are some major differences a technician must be aware of. R410A pressures are approximately 60% higher than a comparable R22 system. All components in the system must be rated to handle the higher pressure. This includes a manifold gauge set and refrigerant recovery machine. Because of the higher pressures, all field connections should be made with a brazing alloy with a minimum 5% silver content. Soft solder must not be used for connections in R410A systems. Components designed for use with R410A are usually tagged as such with a rose pink label, the same color as a cylinder of R410A. R410A refrigerant is not compatible with mineral-based refrigerant oil as used in R22 systems. R410A systems use polyelester oil, which is a synthetic oil. POE is not compatible with mineral oil as used in R22 systems. Therefore, service tools that touch the refrigerant side of the system, such as the manifold gauge set, recovery cylinders, and recovery machine, should be dedicated to a single refrigerant only. Don't risk mixing the oils which may compromise the system. POE oil is very hygroscopic, which means that it has a great affinity for water. Any moisture in the system may cause system problems. This is where good service practice really becomes important, especially regarding proper evacuation of the line set and evaporator coil prior to system startup. A liquid line filter dryer must be installed with every R410A system installation. Caution should be exercised when replacing an existing R22 system with an R410A system to prevent mixing mineral and POE refrigerant oils. A new evaporator coil and, if possible, new line set should be installed with a new condenser. This assures that there is no residual mineral oil that could adversely affect system operation. If change out of the line set is not possible, then the following precautions should be taken. Inspect the line set for kinks, sharp bends, or other restrictions and for corrosion. Determine if there are any low spots which might be serving as oil traps. Flush the line set with a commercially available flush kit to remove as much of the existing oil and contaminants as possible. Install a suction line filter dryer to trap any remaining contaminants and remove after 50 hours of operation. Expansion valves used must be compatible with R410A. Do not use a non-approved metering device. Capillary tube type metering devices are not approved for use with R410A systems. When adding refrigerant to an R410A system, R410A refrigerant must be taken out of the cylinder in liquid form. This eliminates any possibility for the refrigerant to fractionate or separate into its individual components. A quick charge adapter will flash the liquid R410A into a vapor before it enters the suction line. 